Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a paper, paper nose cone. Paper nose cone is nice because it doesn't use a lot of material. It's made of paper so it's light. You attach it the same way that you attach the other end of the shock core with a paper anchor. And you have a little bit of a pocket there to store your um, part of your recovery system. This one's a little loose, but that's not a problem. I can fix that uh, by applying some masking tape around there. And so you're going to need your template. This is going to be the end of the base. Elmer's glue. And I thinned this Elmer's glue out a little bit. Um, it's getting hot and it's not flowing very well. And let's see, that should be, oh, and your body tube. So here's your body tube. So you need those things. Here we go. I'm going to start with this first. And you do this just like you did with your um, engine lock, engine block. Smear glue on it. And fit it to your body tube. Roll it up so that it's about the size of the body tube. Make it smaller. In this case, it's okay to be make this a little bit smaller than your body tube. Like again, like I said, it can um, we can fix that with with tape later on. And that's it. That's a little bit smaller, and that's okay. We can fix that with tape. Uh, ideally, you want to get it to to be just right, but that that'll work. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to take it out so I don't glue it into my body tube, and I'm just going to set that to the side to dry. So the next thing is your nose cone. I'm left-handed, so this is going to look awkward. I'm using right-handed scissors. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be cutting most of this away anyway. So don't spend a lot of time uh, getting right to the line. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm going to cut out this part. And I'm going to start rolling it a little bit just to kind of get a, a bend in there just to begin with. And practice a little bit how, how the nose cone is going to roll. But that's it. You just start rolling it like this. You want to try to get it to the size of your, a little bit bigger than your um, body tube. Kind of like that. Again, a lot of that's going to be cut away later. Now, apply some glue. Strudel, strudel. Everyone loves a strudel. And start rolling this. Again, it's a good idea to start off with clean hands because your the glue is going to stick to the dirt. And your nose cone's gonna look dirty. And just roll it like that. Now, what I've noticed with this is that this seems to want to doesn't want to stick down very well. So I'm gonna put a little more glue there and keep working this down. What you could do is take a dowel, put on the dowel while you're working it. That will keep the nose cone um, round as you're working the seam down. Uh, after a while, the glue gets, glue gets tacky. And I would put that off to the side to dry for a little while too. For instructional purposes, I'm going to rush this. I, I definitely would let this dry for about 10 minutes before I would go on to the next step though. Um, but again, I'm going to rush this a little bit. So this is going to be glued onto the here. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue right around the edge. Actually, a lot of glue right around the edge. Just like that. Now you can see this moves back and forth. And really, the only way I can tell if it uh, how well it's going to work is to put it on in the body tube just a little bit, not all the way, and kind of turn it like this. And you can see when I turn it that it's a little skewed. So I'm going to uh, move it, keep moving it until it it's it's straight. And 
And again, don't put this into the body tube very much, just a little bit to kind of get the idea where that needs to be. And then take it off and put it to the side. And just let it sit and dry. Now, once that's dried, I have a body tube, uh, a nose cone here I've already, that's been drying for a while. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut as close as I can. That doesn't work very well. Okay, now that this has dried a little bit, I'm going to trim it. I'm going to use these tissue scissors that came from a dissection kit. A smaller pair of scissors seems to work much easier to do this. And I'm going to check it. It's overlapping a little bit. Oops, it wasn't quite dry. So this really needs, this dried for a half hour, so it needs to dry a little bit longer. So I'm going to let that set and dry, then I'm going to trim it some more. <laughs>